Okay, so I'm gonna be making some Malins today. They're pretty simple. I've only made them one other time and they didn't work out because my oven sucks. So they got like burnt on one side and then they were like raw on the other side. And then I haven't made them since, but now I have a toaster oven. Wait, it's fine. <laughs> toaster oven. And it's pretty awesome. And my pan fits in it because I just checked like 30 seconds ago that the pan would actually fit in the toaster oven because that would have been bad. My oven like legitimately doesn't work anymore. So anyways, these are basically like sponge cookies. They're pretty good. I've never had them not gluten free. No, I'm not sure what they're supposed to taste like, but I think the process is like the same. First, I have to melt some butter. So actually this recipe is funny. There's more sugar by weight than flour. I don't know why the first step isn't to do the butter first because it says it has to be melted and cooled, but it's never the first step. And it should be Wait, Frank, I didn't know you... Oh, I'm having a butter explosion. Oh, no! I think this is off to a really great start, guys. I just literally exploded the butter all over the microwave. I'm just, like, weighing all the flour. So I need white rice, brown rice, potato starch, tapioca starch, and then milk powder. And that's my like base flour blend. So if you were just making like non gluten free, you just weigh one thing, which is flour. Okay, I need to get baking powder, salt, eggs. I need to go find my lemon. The whole reason I'm making these is because I was like, we need lemons and we didn't need lemons. So now I have a bunch of lemons, but this still only uses lemon zest, which, you know, once you take the zest off, I feel like the lemon goes bad quickly. Baking powder. I'm always worried I'm gonna mix up baking powder and baking soda. I have yet to do it, but one of these times, especially if I'm doing this and I'm talking, I'm thinking about something else. This is all the flour. Like, there's nothing, it's like a cup, I think. It's less than a cup. They list it as a third of a cup plus a fourth of a cup, so whatever that equals. Top down view. What do you mean my top down view? Oh yeah, how do I switch it? I don't know if anybody has a good thing. Like, what do people do with egg whites? I never do anything with them. I just throw them away every single time. We did, we had an extra yolk, like I needed the whites for, oh, I was making a souffle. And so we preserved the uh, egg yolk. Like you put it in salt overnight and then you bake it at like a low temperature to finish firming it up. And then it's just like preserved. And you can grate it on top of like salads or pasta instead of cheese. I'm gonna show you my egg yolk. I was pretty proud of it. It apparently will last like months in the fridge. I don't know if this will focus. Sort of weird. Okay, egg yolk, sugar, butter, then lemon zest and vanilla. A tablespoon of lemon zest. You know, this has like a measuring thing on the back of the grater, but it doesn't work very well. These ghost sours are the best. I really need a lot more zest. I probably need the zest from this entire lemon. Oh my God, too much vanilla. Okay, so I have the egg, the sugar, butter, lemon, vanilla. And then I pour in the flour once it's stirred and then I have to let it sit. So 
In terms of like gluten-free versus like a standard recipe, basically it always has to sit for 30 minutes to let the flowers hydrate. Otherwise, it's like really gritty. So even like the standard chocolate chip recipe, I have to let it sit for 30 minutes. I'm just using regular vegetable oil. I mean, this pan is basically nonstick, but still. I find that sometimes with gluten-free stuff, it sticks anyways. I don't have enough batter. Oh, this is only supposed to make 12. Why is this pan a different size? I don't remember last time this being a problem. Maybe like that was part of the problem is I just filled up the pan because I've never experienced this. Well, not a lot of batter. Really desperate here. <laughs> it's my missing butter from the microwave explosion. It probably is. I mean, I did lose a lot of butter to be fair. I'm usually not that aggressive when I'm microwaving butter, but I think I just wasn't paying attention. Like really desperate now. Here we go. I don't know if I've ever cleaned out a bowl this much to get the batter. Hey. Okay, so 375 for eight to 10 minutes only. I don't know, I think these need to be cooked at 325. This just seems like too high. It says bake until the edges just begin to brown and spring back when pressed lightly. And look pretty brown. So now I'm supposed to let them cool for five minutes and then run a knife around the edge and then transfer them right ridge side up to clean dish towel. Well, I'm assuming they want you to use like a linen dish towel. Otherwise, if you're using like a cotton dish towel, you're literally just gonna get a million little fuzzies on your cookies, on your little twins. So I'm probably, it's probably because of the oil or something. Sometimes I notice when I'm baking with gluten-free stuff, it's probably from the butter actually. When I'm baking gluten-free, like even just my muffins, which have a lot of oil and butter in them, um, I put the muffins on top of a paper towel because there's so much oil that pools on the bottom. And that basically fixes the issue. I mean, like, I don't think it should be this color at all. These look more regular, what I would expect and want. So we'll see what they look like when I flip them over. See, so this is why I question letting them cool in the pan for five minutes. Because basically once they cool, they're gonna be really hard to get out. Like it's just gonna, the edges just bond to the pan basically. Ask me how I know this. Yeah, I think the pan probably got too hot. You know, these really domed a lot. If you look on the back of them. The last time, they were literally still raw in the center. This time they are cooked all the way through. The lemon is amazing. It's crazy to think that there's no lemon juice in here and it's just the zest. I mean. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Thanks for watching guys.